I'm going to drop that down a little bit in the background. And I've got Follow Me Dark now in the studio with me. Um, so Follow Me Dark is one of those genre-pushing alt-rock metal bands from Grass Valley, as they self-describe on their um, website, which is followmedark.com. Um, I've seen them play a couple times, and, and you know, I, I'll describe them from my point of view is that they're a melodic metal band, but in watching them play, I get a real thrill out of this because so many of them have got their eyes closed and just drifting on the music that they're playing, which I think is so freaking cool. So would you like to introduce yourselves? Let's start with um, Jim and, and tell what kind of part you play in the band as well. So you're gonna have to kind of like talk really loud into that mic. Um. Hello everybody, my name is Jim. I play the drums in the band. Uh, I'm just really stoked to be a part of this project. Um, these guys are really talented and I'm uh, proud to be the backbeat for the band. Hey, you got Sean here, I play guitar. Yeah, and, there you go. Uh, Lean in close. <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting nice and close for you. Yeah, my name's Sean, I play guitar. Romance. I will romance you guys, <laughs> maybe with my guitar more. Uh, but yeah, like Jim said, uh, we got a talented group of guys here, and it's been a pleasure and a privi- privilege to play. And uh, couldn't be more excited to be here. Thanks, guy. Yeah, my my pleasure, Elliot. Hey, I'm Elliot Grove on bass. Um, uh, just yeah, you, you, you don't have a, to search for yeah, anything. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been quite a journey just writing music with these guys and. Uh, it's very fluid, and the chemistry is pretty incredible. It's all just kind of writes itself um, to an extent. And, um, yeah, it's been great to be on the radio and great to be here in Davis. Thanks for having us. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, this is Steven, uh, Apollo, Kozak, uh, vocals, guitar. Uh, yeah, thanks, Guy, for having us. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think uh, all of us are kind of stumbling into a new kind of sonic territory together and we all feel like, well, I'll speak for myself, you know, a lot of rock bands are just kind of treading the same ground and we really put a lot of energy into uh, trying to find new territory to explore and we've been pretty fortunate to have each other's backs and to be on that journey, so yeah. Yeah, and you know, it is really a, a great sonic journey that I hear you guys playing so in the background, you had been listening to As She Feeds, which is you can find on YouTube. It's a really well-done video. For me, the song As She Feeds is the first earworm I found of Follow Me Dark. And the song is up on Spotify as well, right? Yes. As, sure, yeah. And your, all, the streaming services. all the streaming services and your page. So anytime you guys want to speak, you got to really kind of like lean into that mic over there and, um, and, and speak loudly. And I can control the fader if it gets a little hot. And this is not the only earworm Follow Me Dark has in their garden. And we're going to hear only unreleased songs from Follow Me Dark on this show. And all these unreleased songs were recorded right here at KDVS's Live in Studio A, which is also affectionately known as Lisa. And I would like to thank Ben and Cosme, who are the co-leads of Lisa, for their engineering work. And thank you, Ben, for mastering. You have really caught what I think is the essence of how Follow Me Dark sounds live. Yeah, great job, Ben. Yeah, thank you, Ben. Yeah, I'm. Would you guys, you know, what was your impression first off when I asked you to come down here and record, and then you walk in the studio, and it's yeah. like, huh? And then hearing what was captured afterwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I was excited uh, to hear our live sound captured, and. Uh, like you said, thanks to Ben, he really hooked up our sound. Um, yeah, we're we're excited, we're happy about it. Again, to come and record live somewhere and have people take care of our music and make it sound good, and then we get to share it with everyone. It yeah, it's a dream come true. Yeah, I think that what you guys laid down in the studio was just amazing, and just watching like uh, Cosme, he put on the the um, headphones closed his eyes and just was rocking back and forth nice. through the whole time that you guys were recording. It was, re- I mean, it's a joy. I mean, just to see the smiles, even in the studio. And that happens also when you guys are on stage, which I think is just fantastic. Yeah. All right. And you want to follow up with anything, Steve? 
No, I think uh, you know as much as we can uh, just share share our sound with uh, with uh, the listeners out there, and just you know thank you for tuning in and uh, hearing some raw uh, live tracks from Follow Me Dark. Uh, we want to start with a song of ours called Solace and go from there. So thanks again for listening, KDVS Davis. This is Follow Me Dark. Yeah, and so I mean, and all their songs are pretty long, so you guys are going to get into it with these. Okay, here we go. Solace by Follow Me Dark, recorded live. In Lisa. You're listening to KDBS Davis. This is Follow Me Dark.
We're going to do a quick public service announcement, and then we're going to come right back with the band Follow Me Dark. One moment, please. If you're a UCD undergrad and are having any legal issues, then ASUCD Legal Services may be the solution for you, offering domestic or civil legal assistance. To receive a consultation, all you have to do is take your Aggie card to the Student Services Office at 347 Memorial Union. Once there, an appointment will be made for you to speak with a licensed attorney via phone. For more info, please call the Student Services Office at 530-752-1990. Okay, we're back live here at KDVS Davis. You're listening to the Earworms Garden. I'm your host, Muse, and in the studio with me right now, this is live, is Follow Me Dark. Yeah. Woo! And uh, while we were listening and, and um, really appreciating the work that both Cosme and Ben had done on these recordings here at uh, KDVS's Lisa, uh, we got a phone call in from somebody um, that wanted to speak to the band. And I think it was a prank call. <laughs> <laughs> must have been, must have been. So at least we know we have one listener out there. <laughs> we're, we're doing retail politics. We're, we're going person by person, door to door, whatever we have to do. So um, w- what were some of the questions that um, you were asked, Steve? Uh, just kind of our, our music influence and uh, what tradition we're kind of part of. And, you know, that's something that I, th- I think all four of us in the band kind of have our own 
uh, musical landscape and no two of us are really exactly identical. Well, I mean, you could say that about anybody, but like, I'm not even really a metal fan at all. And, and some of the other guys have been in metal bands. And, uh, and you were in a band before moving to Grass Valley, right? Out in, yeah, in I, used to be, I used to be in a band area. called Ka Ka, which was Ka-ka. like <laughs> kind of uh, proggy pop punk okay. indie. All right. Uh, and very different. And yeah, this is the first band that I've really fronted. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, you know, at this point we're really just focused on, you know, c- creating a g- great live experience and then translating that into an album, which we're working on now and, um, just playing as much as we can regionally. So, um, hopefully we'll have a show in Davis area ASAP. If anyone knows of anything, give us a call. 530-754. Oh, wait, no, no call to action. Okay. <laughs> no, sorry. No sorry. Okay. We, we just, we we'll, uh, bleep. Okay. So, um, anyway, Steven, so this is the first time you're fronting a band. Yeah. You look, you well, look I had really a, comfortable I had, at it. I had, a, uh, I had kind of more of a solo project that I had some collaborators play with uh, okay. back in Chicago before I moved out here. But um, this is the first, like, uh, proper band where we've kind of come together, written the songs, and, you know, started playing. And, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so we got a little influence. You were kind of like prog band. Elliot, what kind of bands have you been playing in? <clears throat> and get close to the mic and speak right into uh, that puppy. So I have, um, I've had a, another band called Shy Tuesday. Which is going on now, right? I mean, this is a band that's happening. Yeah, they are okay. current. Um, we've been together for about four four years, give or take. Uh, it's a three-piece uh, funk rock band, um, so I can get my slapping out and <laughs> come back to these guys with my batteries recharged. Um, yeah, it's uh, that we're also up in Grass Valley, um, and and you have a show coming up. We have, I believe so. Yeah, we have a a show local oh, up in Grass Valley at um or in Nevada City at a little dive bar called The Brick. Oh, Brick's a nice place. They did upgrade their sound system and their lights. So that's great. Yeah. So if you didn't catch that that will be at The Brick up in Nevada City and um if you go to this Facebook page called The Muse Syndicate that's where you can find all this information. I will post that for you so you don't have to jot this down as you're on your bicycle or in your car. <laughs> or at work and um, slyly listening to this show. Okay, and um, Jim? Uh, Yeah, I've played in a bunch of bands in Sacramento, uh, mostly metal. Um, I've actually played a live set here in Studio A one one time about maybe seven or eight years ago. Oh my goodness, all right. So it's been a while, but um, yeah, I've done a lot of that stuff. And uh, like these guys were saying, we're working on an album right now. So we just came out of the studio with three new tracks that will be released in the near future. Um, so whenever we get an opportunity to record in the studio and not have to pay a ton <laughs> yeah. of money and um, effort and energy into it, it's a one day kind of thing. Um, and these songs sound so great. So we're just uh, thankful for the opportunity to get some extra tracks uh, laid down. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I think it would be fantastic if you included a few of these live captured yeah. tracks. We were thinking about that for sure. Yeah, so that at least people really know how you sound. Mm-hmm. And then when you're at a show and they pick up a piece of memorabilia, th- they take that with you with them and it helps recreate that experience that they had at the show. I mean, I know a lot of times I'll I'll hear a band live first or like um Waiting for Columbus Little Feats. I only knew them with that live sound and as soon as I picked up a studio album or CD back in that day, I was all like, yeah, mm-hmm. I really got into their live yeah, sound yeah. way more. So I think that's really cool when a band has that live sound that can be captured and you can listen to it when you're not there anymore and, and really get into that experience you had at the live show. So we're coming up at the nine o'clock hour. I just need to let you know that you are listening to KDVS Davis, 90.3 FM. Here in California, broadcasting from the from a basement on the UCD Davis on the UC Davis campus. So, uh, what song should we get into um, next? Uh, well, Sean, you should talk about some of your music past too. Oh, sorry, did I miss that? That's yeah, okay. My, my mistake. I figured we'd get back to it in the next round. Okay. But yeah, like Stephen mentioned, this project's been pretty mixed up as far as genres, and I've been in some metal bands. I actually played bass in a band before. 
That's actually where I met Guy. Right, yeah. About uh, five years ago now, right, or something oh like God. that, Has six been, years? Yeah, it's been that long. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I came from a metal background, and it's uh, it's been interesting how we all mix our influences and our likes and our dislikes mm-hmm. together to create the sound you're listening to now, and it's kind of all over the place, which I really enjoy, and everyone gets their rocks off and, mm-hmm. you know, has something to offer that's not necessarily within the genre that we may be playing at that time, which, again, I, I love. Or from your influences or what you might yeah, have in yeah, your yeah. own collection at home, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what I get, you know, knowing you from another band, Mad Queen, I'll just give a shout out yeah. to them. Because hey, Mad I, Queen, what's up, Rob? Yeah, because I see that Rob's getting that um, project going again. Yeah, he is. But to watch you playing lead guitar now as opposed to the bass, you just look so comfortable up there. Head tilted back, chin up, <laughs> big old smile on yeah, your yeah. face, eyes closed, and then these just very melodic riffs are coming out. And with Elliot, you know, even though he's talking about, okay, I play in this prog, wait, wait, uh, sort of like a funk. Yeah, yeah. a funk rock. Funk rock mm-hmm. kind of band. And, you know, I'm talking about, you know, getting your slap on there, but still, you know, pulling, you know, like playing chords mm-hmm. more than just a double stop yeah. on the bass. And also f- making it sound so melodic, and it fits right in there with the screaming and some of the other emotions that are coming out of Steven. And then Jim just sits back there all nice and calm, yeah, <laughs> keeping everybody on track. Yes, sir. Yeah. So what yeah, song should we- Always. <laughs> always, yes. And, and uh, what song should we get into next? We're going to get into a song called Red Liver. Red Liver. Okay, so we're just going to pretty much play them in order, and all these songs... And all these songs, again, were captured here at KDVS Davis in our Lisa live in Studio A room. Here we go with Red Liver Hang from on. Follow Me Dark. <laughs>
Oh, sorry, people. We were um, busy discussing business over woo, here. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I, I like that one. That that kind of shows our, our punkier side, our little scruffier side. And uh, that's kind of when we play that, it's like a little shot in the arm. Uh, make sure we're awake. Oh, yeah, and you get the people on the dance floor bouncing. Yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> instead of just swaying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so do you guys want to uh, talk a little bit more about the music? I mean, we were talking in, in between the songs and, and us coming up here and, and me chattering. Um, how difficult it is to be a band or be a small business that is a band because there's so many moving parts. Do you want to address that again? Um, I mean, just briefly, you know, I think anybody who chooses a career in the arts – um, you know, you have to kind of balance your your regular day to day social obligations with, uh, you know, doing some crazy creative work, and then at the same time treating your project as basically a small business. And you know, it takes a lot of energy, and there's just so many components that go into that. So, I mean, for us, you know, what's what's really important at the end of the day is the music has to be great, and uh, the the music does have to be great. I mean, yeah. you have to have that product line. or that service. Bottom line, yeah, because yeah. All the marketing in the world is not going to put a shine on that other stuff that some people put on their shoes. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. So, yeah. Well said. Well said. Yeah. Uh, we did want to play a song that uh, probably a lot of the listening audience out there might recognize this. Uh, this is uh, one, of, one of my favorite songs from, from the 80s, and I think I've won over my bandmates. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly and surely. Uh, this is a song that was made famous by uh, Echo and the Bunnymen. And it's called The Killing Moon, and it's been uh, a, a real joy to play this one live and to kind of reinterpret it. So I think this will give you guys a good sense of uh, where we're coming from. And it and it is, you know, not a cover of a cover. It is interpreted and made personal. As they say in the jazz industry, it's a standard that you take on. So here we go with Follow Me Dark's rendition of The Killing Moon.
All right. I just got a request from the band to just go ahead and jump into the next one, which would be Alone, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So we'll get Alone going for everybody. And then at uh, 1020, we'll get into the entertainment calendar. Here we go. Alone by Follow Me Dark, recorded live at Lisa at KDVS Studios. Thanks for listening, everybody. Yes, please. Thanks for listening. Your Earworms Garden here on KDVS Davis.
Oh.